struggling with storage on your PS5? Well, let's check out the easiest solution. Hi right, gamers, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget everything you use in the video today, there will be links in the description below of the best place to get those gaming products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. So today we're gonna to be looking at storage on the PS5. Now over time, if you've had your PS5 a while, which you've had mine around five months, you're slowly gonna run out of storage. Now there are two options you can do. Now the first option with your PS4 games, just have them on an external hard drive. Your PS5 will run PS4 games off an external hard drive and I use the four terabyte one for all my PS4 content. Now you can transfer PS5 games to this but they will not play. They'll only play off the internal hard drive. Or the best option is to upgrade. Now the reason you'll run out of memory is Sony give you supposedly 800 gig of memory. But when you scale that down to what you actually get, I think it's around 600 67. Now as you see on the screen now, the biggest game I've got on my PS5 hard drive is Doom Eternal which takes up 84 gig. Next to that we've got Modern Warfare 2 which takes up 64 gig. We've got The Last of Us the Remake taking up 69 gig and then we've got Spider-Man Morales taking up at least 40 gig. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of gigabytes took up just by four games alone. Now I think I've got around 14 games on one app, an Apple TV app, and that was it. The smallest game I've got on them, which takes about five gig, is Stray. As you can see, when I go to download anything now, it's coming up with this error. What you'll get on screen, you need to delete space off that internal hard drive which is a bit of a pain because all your applications and your photos and that are stored on that internal hard drive. So any videos you've took as well will be stored on that internal hard drive and any game footage that you've recorded. So the easiest solution is to install an SSD with an internal heatsink. See, I've got the two terabyte. I didn't got it for the four terabyte because it's just ridiculously priced. These are around 300 US dollars. Today we're gonna to be fitting WD850, I'm going to do a video on the various SSDs, including this one, once you can use in your PS5. So I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. So what I'm going to do is dive in, start installing the 850 SSD into the PS5. Right, so this does come complete with the heatsink. You can buy other SSDs that you have to buy a separate heatsink for. And this is one that Sony have gone to partnership with and got their own branded version of the WD850. So as I said, this does come complete with its own heatsink fitted to it. As you can see, they've got vents to let all that heat disperse and it should transfer any heat from that or most a lot of the heat from that to the aluminium plate that covers it. And hopefully it shouldn't overheat with this heatsink. People have fit them without heatsinks. There is a chance of it overheating and it could damage your PS5. So I'll grab the PS5 and we'll start fitting the Western Digital SN850 MVMME SSD. First, all you're gonna to need to do is remove your stand, then turn your PlayStation 5 upside down. This is the side that the SSD is gonna fit. So I'll turn it around so you can see. So looking from the back, you're gonna to wanna to lift this corner here, lift this back corner, pull and push, and off that slides. The part you wanna to get to is right here. Right, so that's all you're gonna need is a little Phillips screwdriver. And as you can see, we've got this screw here with the PlayStation symbols around. Now, Sony have continued to do this from the PS4 on their internal screws. And all we're gonna do is turn that anti-clockwise. Move that, don't lose the screw. So now, slide the plate to the right, and then lift it up, and take it out. Now, what we've got here is a little screw and a shim to hold your SSD, there are various sizes. So Sony have gave you four holes for a 30, a 42, a 60, or an 80. And we're fitting the 80. So you're gonna take this screw out here. Then your shim, your shim will slide down to the 80 section, but we'll just take that off for now. Now we're gonna grab our SSD, slide it in there just on a slight angle. So you slide it in, it should push in. It just clips in with these. There will be a little bit of tension as you can see. We're gonna get our shim, and we're gonna push our SSD down, put our screw in and our shim. If you've got big fingers like me, you might find it quite fiddly. So just make sure that shim's in the right spot, and then our screws in, and just tighten that. And that is one SSD fitted. Now make sure you put the aluminium plate back on. A lot of people have left these off. If it's off, you're gonna get a lot of dust in there as you know, accumulate. A lot of people think it makes difference to the heat. I think the heat disperses through this heat sink and through this plate anyway. So you haven't got to worry about any dust getting in as long as you put this back. Sony highly recommend that you put it back. And then we've got to do is just refit our side plate 
and refit our stand. With the saw plate again, we've got the disc drive here. If you haven't got the disc drive model, digital works exactly the same, you just won't have this cut out. So this is gonna slide that way. So drop it on and push, and that's it. We'll fit the stand, get it set up. I was just gonna turn on our PS5 and it should detect that it's got an SSD fitted and it should ask us to format it. Well, on screen now it says to use your M2 SSD, you need to format it. The reason for this is in case you've used it in a PC, it will format and delete anything that's on there. If you've removed it from another PS5 and you've put it in this PS5, then obviously you're gonna to need to format it to delete all the files. So if you wanna continue, move over to format SSD and press it. And it shouldn't take too long. And there you go. It's just gonna check a read speed. So it's got a read speed of 6,533 megabytes. So now your M2 has been formatted. To change where your games are installed, go to settings, storage, and obviously move them over as you normally do. So what we'll do is we'll move a game and see how quick it moves. What we'll do is go across the settings, press X, down to storage, press X, console storage, go to games and apps, press X. Then it'll bring up your list of games. So you've got quite a few PS4 ones on there. It's listing what's on the external hard drive, but we're gonna move one from the internal hard drive. So we'll go for something pretty reasonable. So we won't go for Doom Eternal, because that's like 80 gig, but we'll see how quick Ratchet and Clank moves across. So we want Ratchet and Clank, and we're gonna move. Select items to move. Let's go down to Ratchet and Clank, and we're gonna move that to our SSD, which you can see we've got just under two terabytes. Let's see how long that takes. And that looks like it's taking just over 20 seconds, which isn't too bad. So we've got 10 seconds left to go. Nine, eight. So that moved it pretty quick. And that's it. So that's now should be moved across to the M2 SSD. So you can see now that's disappeared off our list. So we'll just go back. Storage. And as you can see there, we've got 33.71 gigabytes, which is our Ratchet and Clank. So let's see how she runs. Let's see how she runs. You can see game playing works fine. And that's and it's transferred over where we got to in the previous game. So that works really well. All right, don't forget if you use the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get those gaming products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. All right, so I'm enjoy that quick installation. As you can see, it's really easy to fit. Western Digital 850 works great on your PS5. It is compatible with your PS5. Sony are using this at the moment and are branding it with their own brand. Now let me know if you upgrade your PS5 with a new SSD. As of making this video, I think it's a great investment. I'd go for at least the two terabytes. One terabyte I think is gonna fill up really quick. Especially if you're a PlayStation Plus member, it's such a benefit to have that two terabyte as opposed to just a one terabyte and the internal storage of the PS5. Now if you want to know how to clean your PS5, check out this video. And if you want to know how to install new side plates on your PS5, check out this video. So thanks for watching, happy gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one.